Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. And here this is the tutorial about GetX. And in this tutorial, we'll see how to convert your controller to a singleton class and why it's better than other state management system when it comes to a singleton class. So singleton class, the property of singleton class is that you can create only one instance of a class. It doesn't matter wherever you call this class from. It doesn't matter even if you try to create new object of this class. You'll only have one instance, which means that it would only get initialized. And in the memory, it would only be in one place. And we'll see how we can prove that. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first here I have this controller, actually, controller 1. In fact, I have three controllers. So this is controller 1. And this is the UI for this controller, the basic UI. This is controller 2, or second controller, and the UI. And this is a third controller. Now, this is the basic UI. Now, these three controllers, well, they are all inside this get material app as a route, as you can see. First one, second one, third one. Okay, so I have just restarted my app. And as I did that, of course, you see that first controller has been created and initialized. And this is a route. If I click on this, it's going to take me to second controller. And we also see that it's been created and initialized. And the same is going to happen for the third one. All right. So everything has been initiated and created step by step. Now, so far, it looks like singleton. And but if we go back from third page, which has the third controller connected with it, now we'll see that this third controller has been deleted from the memory. So the third controller itself is not a singleton class. If I step back from the second controller, we also see that second controller has also been deleted from the memory. Now, of course, in our case, the first controller is the initial route. So initial route, you cannot remove because we cannot go back. So we cannot remove that. So now we observe that now this controller are really singleton. Now what I want to do over here, I want to have the second controller over here, uh, the controller that's connect with this uh, UI, which is called second. Now I want to convert this controller to a singleton controller and how we do that. Well, to be able to do that, first you need to find your controller, in our case, the second controller where we inject it. Well, we are injected in this UI. The UI class name is called second. So inside this, we are injecting it as a dependency. And as we do that, over here, we can tag permanent true. Now, if we do that, and after that, we're gonna restart our app and we'll see that second controller is always in the memory. It never gets deleted. Okay, now let's go to our second page. We see it's been created. Let's go to our third page. It's been created. Okay, so it's just like the earlier section. But here now, if we go back, definitely first we'll see that our third controller has been removed. Okay, right, it's been removed. Now here we'll observe something different. Remember, we are on second page. So if we leave second page, According to the earlier theory, it should remove the controller, but because we have used this tag over here, permanent true, we'll see that it's not being deleted. All right, so here it says that, look, second controller has been marked as permanent, so smart management is not authorized to delete it. It's beautiful, so which means that we cannot delete it, so which means that it's staying in the memory, right? Okay, cool. But of course, it still doesn't mean that we are a singleton class. Because one of the property of singleton class is that wherever you get the instance of the class, it'll have only one instance. You can call it many times or you can try to create many objects out of it, but it will just return only one instance from the memory because it will just get created once. Now here we do see that over here that um, our controller has been initialized over here. But how do we confirm that this is actually a singleton class? Remember, singleton class will only have one instance. 
But how do you confirm that? Now, to confirm it, we, we can use something called a hash code. Now, hash code has a value, integer value. If you have an object, every object has integer, integer value. Now, if you create an object from a class in many different places, in general, they will have many different hash code. So since hash codes are different, they are different classes objects. Now, I mean, same class, but different objects which also means that the objects that we create from this class, they are not singleton. But now we said that this is singleton. So we need to prove that. Now to prove it, we will use hash code. In fact, you can use the hash code anywhere. So, well, I'm going to hash code over here. I'm going to use the hash code over here. So now over here, we see that our second controller, we are trying to get the instance of the second controller over here. Now we need to confirm that whether these two instances are same or not. And how do you do that? If you want to do that here, you have to write data.hashcode. So as you can see, in Dart, every object has a property called hash code, and that's what we are using. Now here, data1 dot hash code. So we are going to compare. If these two hash code are same, it means that even though I tried to get the object twice from this controller, but actually, in fact, in the memory, it just returning to, it's just pointing to one place. And this is how you can confirm a class is singleton or not. So if they are same, we can say, they are a single tone class object. Okay, all right. And then here we'll say print the class is not single tone. All right. So let's go ahead and restart our app. And here we'll see that something interesting. So let's go back to go to our second page. It's been initialized go to third page so once we are here on third page we already see that here it printed there are a single tone class object which means that I tried to get two different objects but in fact they're referring to only one object in the memory so that's why the hash code is same and then this confirms that our class is a single tone class and that's a beautiful thing